Donald Trump has been ordered to pay E. Jean Carroll eighty three point three million dollars. Donald Trump's lawyer, Alina Habba, who apparently was uh, feverish recently and tried to have proceedings delayed and hopefully she's feeling better. She ranted and raved outside the courtroom after this eighty three point three million dollar award was announced. I have to tell you, I love seeing this. I really do. Does it make me a bad person that I am going to play for you some of the most enjoyable two minutes of video I've seen in a long time? She is not happy with this. She doesn't regret representing Trump, but she is very much not happy with the verdict. Take a listen to this. Get the popcorn. Ask me that question. No, I'm not having any second thoughts about representing President Trump. Right. It is the proudest thing I could ever do. What I am having second thoughts about is the license that I stand here with that the people in there are supposed to have. Right. I have not spoken because I respect my ethics <laughs> while I'm on trial. Right. But let me now speak about what has happened. Yeah. I have sat on trial after trial for months in this state, the state of New York. Yeah. Attorney General Letitia James. And now this. Weeks. Weeks. Why? Because President Trump is leading in the polls. And now we see what you get in New York. This is straight out of Trump's mouth. This is not something normal lawyers would usually say. But Trump's story is they've only come after me because I'm leading every poll. And Alina Habba is repeating it. So don't get it twisted. Whoever asked me that question, I am so proud to stand with President President Trump. Right. But I am not proud to stand with what I saw in that courtroom. Ms. Hubbard, the I'm not finished. Let me just finish and I'll take questions, please. Before I walked into court, that judge decided that every single defense President Trump had, we were not allowed to raise in front of the jury. It is in writing and I encourage the journalists, the real journalists. OK, this is critical. This is a critical detail. Aline Habba and Trump have argued they didn't allow me to make a defense. OK, the defense they wanted to make is that Trump didn't sexually assault E. Jean Carroll. The problem is that he's already been found civilly liable for that. So you can't use that as part of your defense. It's not because Trump is being mistreated. It's not because they're picking on Trump. It's because you're not allowed to do that. There has already been a finding that Trump is civilly liable for sexual assault and for the defamation. So when they're trying to figure out damages, you can't go. I didn't sexually assault her. I didn't defame her. That phase is over. She's a lawyer and she knows that to take the minute to look at his orders. There was no proof. And I couldn't prove that she didn't bring in the dress. There was no DNA. There was no expert. My experts were denied. Two of them, two of them were denied to come in. They didn't bring let me bring up that Reed Hoffman funded Miss Kaplan. And you know what we got in there? That my witness, who was her friend, who said that she is a drug addict and the drug addict is herself. That friend I found out in there was paid for by Miss Kaplan's firm and that is disgusting. That is a <laughs> violation of everything I stand for. And that is why I stand with Trump. And that is why so many Americans are so proud are they? that he is running again and so excited to run to the ballot box. But don't get it twisted. We are seeing a violation of our justice system, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. There it is. Don't get it twisted. A final apocalyptic message from Alina Habba. As we know, Trump hires only the best people. What an incredible day. I hope she's actually getting paid. We, there are reports that she's billed millions of dollars. As many people in the audience know, billing and collecting are two different things. It's sort of like uh, anybody can take a reservation for a rental car, but having the car available is critical. We learned this on Seinfeld years ago. Anybody can just take reservations, but you've got to hold the car. Anybody can send out legal invoices, but the collection is such a critical element. And we I hope she's been able to collect throughout this entire thing. Rudy Giuliani. This is a bonus clip. Rudy Giuliani, his big defense is, listen, it was sexual assault, not, not rape. Nobody should be referring to it as rape. Well, the judge is a disgrace to the greatest court in America. 
it's uh, called the Mother Court. The United States mm -hmm. District Court for the Southern District of New York which had some of the greatest judges in American history. This judge is a pure disgrace. He's telling a, he's telling a lawyer what questions to ask. That's totally ridiculous. He won't let him defend himself. Uh, and, and, and how is it inconsistent? Let's say, let's say he was first of all he was he was found not guilty or not liable for rape. It was sexual assault. Not yeah, that's actually not true. So the the judge has made clear, based on the definition of rape and the actions Trump was found civilly liable for, the sexual assault he was found liable for was a rape by definition. So the best Rudy has is. After all, it was only sexual assault. It wasn't really rape. The question now, can E. Jean Carroll collect the money? Will E. Jean Carroll collect the money? A devastating verdict for the failed former president and adding insult to injury or injury to insult. Nikki Haley has really taken off the gloves uh, going bare knuckles against Donald Trump. We're going to take a quick break and talk about that next. Here's something I would recommend very highly to the guys in the audience. If you're sick of the chafing and the rubbing that you get with traditional underwear, check out our sponsor sheath sheath makes ergonomically designed men's underwear with separate compartments in the front, preventing the sticking together of things. It lets everything breathe. It lets air circulate, keeping you comfortable, dry and fresh all day long. Wave goodbye to the sweatiness, please, to the stickiness, to the readjustments. They have a ton of designs. Everyone can find something they like. And Sheath also is now offering super comfortable women's underwear as well as silky smooth base layer undershirts and bottoms for men. With every purchase, you're supporting multiple nonprofit organizations related to mental health, homelessness, doctors without borders. Sheath is a very socially conscious company, which I love. Sheath has over 20,000 five star reviews, fast shipping, world class customer service, and Sheath is the perfect gift for any man or woman on your shopping list. Go to sheathunderwear.com slash Pacman and you'll get 20% off with the code Pacman. The link is down below.